derivative. To understand what derivative is, let us consider the following situation. On a rectangular plane, consider a line, say line L. This line has an equation y equal to f of x. And since L is a straight line, it has equation mx plus b. Here, the, this, this is what we call the, the slope intercept equation for a straight line. Suppose we wish to find the slope of a point on this straight line. What do we do? So if this point, let's say this point is point x1 and the y value of this point is f of x1. So the coordinate at this point is what? The x coordinate is x1 and the y coordinate is what? f of x1. That is the value of x1 in the function. Now to find the slope, we need another point, say a point x2 and the functional value of x2 is f of x2. So the coordinate of the second point is what? x2, comma f of x2. If we wish to calculate the slope of the point on this line, of this point x1, or of the line, in the case maybe, what do we say? We say slope is what? Change in y, we divide by what? Change in x. And what is change in y? y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. And what is our what is our y1? Our y2, this is x1, y1, x2, y2. So our y2 is f of x2, f of x2 minus our y1 is f of x1, f of x1, divide by x2 is x2 here, minus x1 is x1. So the y over the x, which is the slope of the line, is equal to f of x2 minus f of x1, divide by x2 minus x1. The comment I wish to make here is this. On this straight line, the slope of this point, x1, f of x1, is the same as the slope of any other point on the straight line. Because on a straight line, the slope is equal for every point on that line. So if I pick a point here to find the slope, the slope will be the same as any other point on this line. So for a straight line, we see that a straight line has what? Constant what? Slope. Now, we shall consider a case where we don't have a straight line, but rather a curve as follows. Suppose we have the following curve. And we have equation of the curve y equal to f of x, some function of x which we do not know. We wish to also find the slope of some point on this curve. But what do we observe first? Unlike a straight line that has the same slope at every point on the line, for a curve, a curve will have different slopes at different points on the curve. For example, the slope at this point on, the, on this curve is different from the slope at this point on the curve. And it's also different from the slope at this point of the curve. So let us try to see if we can also establish the slope of a certain point on this curve. Suppose we're interested in getting the slope of that point. Let us call this point here. This is the x point, And of course, the y value will be what? F of x. Let's imagine that we move from this point. The second point is, say, this point. And this point is, let's just call it x plus a change in x. So this is x. Here is x plus a change in x. That means x has shifted from this point to the next point. So assume here is, assuming here is 2 and here is 4. This point is 4. So what we are changing x? Changing x is just what 2. Because x has moved from 2 to what to 4. So this point x plus change in x is just a point in front of x. So the functional value of that same point would be what? Would be f of x plus a change in x. Now, the coordinate of this point is x, comma, f of x, f of x. And the coordinate of the second point is what? 
is x plus change in x, x plus change in x, comma, f of x plus a change in x. To find the slope of this point, x, f of x, we simply find the slope of that second. This, the line that joins these two points on the curve is called a second. So to find the slope of this point, we simply find the slope of this second. So slope of the second is what? Change in y over change in x equal to what? y2 minus y1 divided by what? x2 minus x1. And what's our y2? Our y2, so we call here x1, y1, x2, y2. Our y2 is f of x plus a change in x minus our y1 is f of x divided by x2 is x plus change in x, x plus change in x minus x1 is x. If we tidy this up, we have that the slope change in y over change in x is equal to f of x plus a change in x minus f of x divided by what a change in x. Now let us look at this again. We have this describes the slope of this point x and f of x. Now imagine what will happen if this point x plus change in x and f of x plus change in x is somewhere here. What happens? The second that joins these two points becomes even smaller. And so we have a better slope to this point than the first second. And if this point comes even closer, we have even a better slope of this point than even the second second line. So what are we saying in essence? To get a good slope of this point, a good value for the slope of this point x and f of x, we are saying that we require the second point here be as close to this point as much as possible. So much so that the change in x tends to zero. So we now say, okay, the limit as a change in x tends to zero of this slope dy over the x is equal to what? The limit as change in x tends to zero of f of x plus a change in x minus f of x divided by what? A change in x. What we this equation here, one, is what we refer to as the derivative, derivative of the point, what? x, f of x. So, this derivative at this point will be, the, will be different from the derivative at the next point, will be different from the derivative at the next point. So, what do we do? With this formula, whatever point of which derivative we require, we simply come into this formula and substitute the value of that point into equation 1. So, we call this the derivative of the function f of x. And this is what we denote as f prime of x. This is what we also denote as y prime. We also denote this as what? dy over what? Over dx. So, when you express the slope, when you find the slope of a particular point on a curve using equation 1, they would say that you have found that slope by what? From what? From first from first from first principle. So, we make this last comment. If you evaluate equation 1 and you come out with a constant, that means a value that has no variable with it, what does it tell us? It tells us that the slope we have just found is the slope of a point on a straight line. Otherwise, if the curve in question is not a straight line, then when you evaluate this slope, what you're going to have will be a function of x. In our next class, we shall take one or two examples to illustrate how we find the slope of a curve, of any curve, from first principle. So, just to conclude, be reminded that if the limit as the x tends to zero comes in here because we are saying that to have a good approximate or to get a good value for the slope at this point, that this second point here must be as close to this point as much as possible. So much so that the change in the x becomes as small as possible. So we now say the limit of the change in x tends to zero of the slope. And this gives us what we call differentiation by first word principle.